Max Stirner, I have founded my cause on nothing. How many things should be my cause? First of all, the good cause, then God's cause, the cause of mankind, of truth, of freedom, of humanity, of justice. Further, the cause of my people, my fatherland. Finally, even the cause of the spirit and a thousand other causes more. Only my cause should never be my cause. Shame on the egoist who only thinks of himself. But let us look then how they manage their cause. For whose cause we have to work to devote both ourselves and to get enthusiastic. You have much profound information to give about God. For thousands of years you have searched in the depths of the Godhead or looked into his heart so that you can doubtlessly tell us how God himself attends to God's cause which we are called to serve. Now, what is his cause? Has he, as is demanded of us, made an alien cause, the cause of truth or love, his own? You tell us that God's cause is indeed the cause of truth and love, but that this cause cannot be called alien to him, because God is himself truth and love. You are shocked by the assumption that God could be like us, poor worms, in furthering an alien cause as his own? Should God take up the cause of truths, if he were not himself truths? He cares only for his cause. But uh, because he is all in all, therefore all is, is his cause. But we... We are not all in all, and our cause is small and despisable. Therefore, we must serve a higher cause. Now it is clear. God cares only for what is his, busies himself only with himself, and thinks only of himself. Woe to all that is not well pleasing to him. He serves nothing higher, but satisfies only himself. His cause is a purely egoistic cause. And what about mankind, whose cause we are to make our own? Does mankind serve a higher cause? No. Mankind looks only at him itself. Mankind promotes only the interests of mankind. Mankind is its own cause. That it may develop. It causes nations and individuals to wear themselves out in its service. And when they have accomplished what mankind needs, in gratitude, it throws them on the dung heap of history. Is not mankind's cause the purely egoistic cause? I don't need to show that everybody wants to throw his cause on us, and that he is occupied not with us, but only with his good, not with ours. Do truth, freedom, humanity, justice, desire anything else than that you serve them. Just observe the nation that is defended by the voted patriots. The patriots fall in bloody battle or in the fight with hunger and poverty. And does the nation care for that? No. Our corpses of these patriots, the nation comes to its bloom. The individuals have died for the great cause of the nation. 
And the nation sends them some words of thanks after them, and has the profit of it. I call that a lucrative kind of egoism. And will you not learn by these brilliant examples that the egoist gets on best? I, for my part, take a lesson from them. And instead of further unselfishly serving those great egoists, I prefer to be the egoist myself. Gods and mankind have based their cause on nothing but themselves. Let me then likewise base myself on myself. Like God, I am my all. I am the only one. I am not nothing in the sense of emptiness, but I am the creative nothing. The nothing out of which I myself create everything. Away then with every cause that is not altogether my cause. You think at least a good cause should be my cause. But what's good? What is bad? Why? I myself am my cause. And I am neither good nor bad. Neither has meaning for me. The divine is God's cause. The human cause is man's cause. My cause is neither the divine nor the human. Not the true, go, good, just, free, etc., etc. But solely what is mine. And it is not the general cause, but it's unique. As I am unique, nothing is above myself.